Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert developers joining us from previous versions of Angular. In today's episode, we are going to learn about component communication. That means sending data to a component and sending the data back from component to the parent or to the calling component. This is part 16 of the series. If you have missed out on earlier episodes, make sure that you have gone through it, especially episode 12, 13, 14, 15, where I've shown you the breaking changes in Angular 17. Today, we are learning about component communication. <coughs> All right, so component communication in Angular is extremely crucial as we know that we will be working with a lot of components. And also, you will need to send dynamic data from a particular component to a child component. Also, once the co child component's response, it may send back a data, right? So that is done using two important directives, that is, at decorators, that is, at the rate input, at the rate output. At the rate input is used for receiving inputs to a component at the rate output is used for sending data from component to the parent okay so remember two things input and output input means it will get the data output means component will send the data back all right so that's the theoretical explanation let's jump into code <coughs> let me make some notes 16 component communication all right so, if you remember in the previous episode, <coughs> we created a couple of components for learning and the f one component was called crew <coughs> and we used crew-designations inside the crew component. If you open the crew that we did, you are seeing that we called the other component which is app crew designations. <coughs> now, if you look at this structure, we are calling crew designations inside crew. So you can think of it like a parent, right? And this is your child component. Now, from parent to child, when you want to send, we will use input. That means we are sending the data or you can say crew designations is receiving input. We will use output to send data back from crew designations to crew. All right, that's what we'll achieve. So let's get started. First, you'll go to crew component.ts and what you can do is um, say, define a variable and give it some value okay so I have added a message as a variable it's of type string and I am assigning a value called hello world now I want to send this value to child component so you'll put you'll write square brackets write any variable name that you want to use it need not to be the same okay so you can say let's say this is message for component okay so here I am defining a custom one okay it can be any name that you want to provide and I will bind that data now message for component is coming directly from crew component.ts and it has a value hello world I'm passing it to the child now in the child what you will write is you will import at the rate input and you are going to write what is the variable name that you are expecting and you can give some initial value now this value and the one that you pass here should be same okay so we are telling expect a variable by the name message which will have some value in the crew designations we are telling input and it's of message and string okay to display what we can do is just throw in a new paragraph you will use double curly brace to display value I'll cover this as we progress in the series for now just type double uh, curly braces that's the interpolation and let's run the application okay so the application is up and running let's open so you can see here hello world is coming from crew designations and it is printing here okay you can check here you can add one more inside crew so see here inside crew designations and then hello world now in the here I'm going to change that value and say from parent so you can see here automatically it's changing because that value is sent 
to child that is crew designations via message okay this is how you can send any type of data it can be an object it can be a um, username a token or anything that you want to send to any component okay and there is no restriction as to how many you can send okay if you want to send more than one that's also fine so you can say user token equal to say string equal to uh, some characters like this so now I can do I can say token equal to user token so this is the token which I'm saying that will be accepted so here I'll copy this again and paste it here and token and you in the in the crew designations dot HTML I can output that as well and write token all right so now you see token is also getting printed so like what you understand from this is that you can pass any number of Variable variables or data to component and you just need to receive it in the component using input That's step number one. That is what is input whenever you want to send data to a component you will use input Now the next use case that I want to show you is output Now you want to send data back from this component child designations That is crew designations to crew, right? So how do you do that? So let's do that. I'm going to give a, let's say some action happens here. So I'm going to throw in a button. Okay. And I'm going to say on click, it should call a method. Okay. What is the method? Let's say send message. Okay. This simple thing, nothing complicated. And I'll say send message to parent. Now let's implement this. This error is because we have not implemented the function so let's add that function definition now in this what we will use is a output okay we had used input now here you will use output okay so what are you trying to output we want to send a message event let's say right now this you will always use new event emitter okay now you can define the type of it you can say that I want to um, send a string or okay so now I'm saying it's it will you're sending back an event from child to parent and the name of the thing is message event so what you can do is in the send message you can write this dot message event dot emit say hello from child to parent okay so this is how you would send data back to the parent wherever whenever this button is clicked so whenever this send message is called what will it do <coughs> it would come take the message event and emit it back okay so now what you will do in the parent right you can simply capture that okay so how do you capture it you can just write it as a method in the parent now look carefully this was for the input so here you will write what was the thing message event that's the name that we are passing the message via and you can write something like say receiving message and dollar event okay so what this will do is it will it will you're telling that you are going to get back a event which is a message event and you're calling a method and you're getting the data so in the component dot ts you will write that receiving message receiving message okay and in the message you are getting a message right so you can say I'll get a message of type string and just do a console log or you can um, assign it and say this dot let's have a variable and say received message is of st type string initially it's empty and I'm going to say this dot received message is equal to message so string is not assignable to type what 
is wrong here let's check once this is of type string received message is of string type string this is also correct did we change something here let's quickly check or let's if I don't do a typecast what is it saying let's add a no this it should not be like this just add a message and these of type string and here it is saying oh that's the problem I gave a wrong variable my bad I'm sorry okay so if you want to display just display that message using double quotes received message and print it and what this dot received message that should be fine uh, what is the error let's see it says received major message does not exist oh uh, again I, I believe spelling mistake so it's better to copy paste the rule that I tell everybody so the I was missing in the spelling okay so now see I click on it and it says hello from child to parent right so that's how so important thing here again just to recap in, in input you will use whenever you want to receive data output you'll use whenever you want to send data from component to parent you can send data from component to parent using output and using event emitter Mes this dot message event is a variable which will emit when you click this event it need not to be a function all the time it can simply be any other thing that based on your component logic or business logic you can trigger this emit anytime okay whenever you trigger message event will be sent to the parent component here you see as part of the receiving event you can see here we define message event and we are saying whenever you receive a message call this method and just do a binding to the received map right those are the simple steps that you can send any number of data you can emit any value based on anything it need not to be again message event it can like I said you can have multiple inputs to a particular component similarly you can have multiple outputs also based on different functionality you can say SMS event if some if you were able to send the SMS you might want to trigger this if you send a message event you might want to trigger this emit right so based on conditions you can have multiple input multiple output okay I hope it's clear um, please do practice please do code with me to learn that's how that's the only way you can master coding right now a lot of you have written to me asking that does angular support modules angular 17 support modules yes it does obviously it is backward compatible and that's what I'm going to uh, cover in the next episode about modules how to generate a module and then we will talk about data binding interpolation um, controls template controls and then we'll also cover signals and services pipes directives a lot of work we have so keep your learning with me and do let me know if I can be of any help I'll be more than happy to help you thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode